All right, all right, all right. Good day. He, she's, they's and them's, Hebrews and Shebrews. I'm gonna show you how to get a very stubborn tire to seat. And the trick actually is a ratchet strap all the way around in the middle. You can see even with that, especially where the ratchet part is, let's get the light in here, the tire still is nowhere near seated, but that's okay. What you wanna do is get it seated as much as you can all the way around it. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to do that. real quick. So what you want to do is you actually roll the bead out like this. So you want to push in the center and use your fingers and pull the bead out as much as you can. So it's this motion and you want to really get your fingers in there and try to pull it out. And you do that all the way around. Get it as good as you can. And I've tried every other, every other method. When you have a stuck tire that will not seat, this is the only way. Um, also, take out your valve core because you're gonna use an air compressor and that you need an air compressor, otherwise this will not work. So I'll show you. Make sure your compressor is the highest PSI it goes to. Turn the air on. Put this right in there. Seal it up as best you can with your hand. Sorry, I have to turn it on. And be careful, it'll start filling up. Be careful because that strap is getting really tight when you do that. So once you have it pretty good and you think it's seated enough, put your hand on the hole. Turn it out so you want it to stay seated while you pull the strap off. So I'm going to just go ahead and set the camera down. You are going to have to loosen up the strap from the ratchet part. Oh. Like I said, be careful with that. There's a lot of pressure on that strap. <clears throat> and now this tire is seated. What you also do is that little line on the tire. Most tires have that. You're gonna use that as an estimate on where the tire may not be fully pushed out, fully seated. So on this one, looks like it's probably pretty even all the way around. But sometimes it won't fully pop out. When you look at the tire like this, or you roll the, put it on the bike and roll it, it will, one side of the tire will be kind of pushed down. So, all we're gonna do from here is you can just go ahead and let the air out because it is heated, should stay. Then, that's the valve core. You're gonna put it in. Gonna use the big end for a Presta. Go ahead and tighten it up. Oh, actually, you need to put your stands in there. So, right here, I use stands, it's fine. I like to use half a bottle per tire. That's really all that you seem to need. And I like these bottles because it just fits right in there. And you don't need to measure anything. It doesn't have to be exact. It really does not matter as long as it seals the tire. You can try half a bottle, and if the tire seeps out, you can always add more. So now you go ahead and tighten it up. And not so tight that it tries to spin the whole entire valve, but anyway, that's all right. Now fill it up, and you're good to go. If the tire has a part that's not seated all the way, you're gonna have to work it, you're gonna have to pump it up, uh, then release it, pump it up really, really high, like maybe like 60 PSI, and it should unseat. Um, if not, you can 
put a little bit of soap on that one spot of the tire and that should help. Um, you can also just work it like I was doing with my fingers to seat the bead. You can also do that and kind of just push the tire up like this and try to get it. You're trying to lift the tire up and out towards the edge of the rim. So that's about it. Any questions, just ask. Thanks.